Right, I thought it was time I got back to posting some regular content. I've taken a little bit of time out for some vacation and dedicated some time to shooting. Uh, and I wanted to return with something a little bit different. If you've been following my channel, you'll know that most of the content has been about film photography and traditional film techniques, but I'm by no means exclusively a film shooter. In fact, I shoot as much digital as I do film, and I thoroughly enjoy both. I've never really bought into this idea of film versus digital and these debates that you see raging online. I just think, uh, I actually think it's just an amazing time to be a photographer or filmmaker. We have access to some amazing technology and also the resources online to learn about traditional techniques. If we're interested in those or want to rediscover them. Now we've been having some really dramatic winter weather here in Vancouver and in Europe where I was last week and I've been trying hard to capture something of that. First up is the view from a place called Queen Elizabeth Park in Vancouver. Now this is a very well-known local viewpoint and for good reason. It's a, it's a really dramatic view of the city with the mountains rising up against it to the north and it's one of the few places in town where you really get a sense of the surrounding countryside around Vancouver. And my hope was by going there at sunrise, I would have the view to myself and a really clear winter morning with some fresh snow in the mountains. I don't know if you can see this behind me. There's like this bronze statue of a guy. I think he's taken a picture of his family here at the viewpoint. And I'd completely forgotten they were there. And I've got to say, you come around the corner in the dark at six o'clock in the morning and you see that as a shadow and it's, uh, yeah, it's a little scary. Give me a fright. You have to excuse the audio because I've forgotten my microphone, but this is the view out to the city I was talking about. I came here in the summer and got a really disappointing picture that was all hazy. There was no atmosphere in the, in the sky, nothing in the mountains to, to kind of pick out as detail. Um, and I just thought I always wanted to come back here in the winter when there's a snow line on the mountains and we've just had like a crisp, hard frost and really just get this sparkling view of the city waking up. Uh, and this morning I've been here for about an hour now and I think it's probably about an hour that you want to give it before sunrise uh, if you really want to get that change in light from blue into the golden hour. And it's just beautiful up here. I'm so glad I got out of bed early. As the sun rose over the horizon, the magic dawn light was over and it was time to leave. If you plan to visit this location, avoid the main viewing platform in front of the Blodell Conservatory. It's the obvious place to stand, but this view is a bit obscured by trees. Instead, take the somewhat hidden path to the smaller platform beside Seasons Restaurant. That's where you'll get the best view. Something I love about sunrise photography is that for a few hours it feels like you have the world to yourself. You can be in these very touristy, busy locations and there's not a soul around and it's just a pretty special feeling to be there at that time. Um, so I'll be doing a lot more sunrise photography in the, in the near future. The second picture I wanted to share with you though is from kind of halfway around the world from there. I was on a snowboard trip to a place called Teen in the French Alps and I had no idea that it was such a dramatic looking location. Uh, it's, what they've done there is they've kind of floodlit the mountains behind the city in a way that's quite subtle but as your eyes adjust at night time you see this blue light across all the peaks behind the town and it's really spectacular. If you, if you take the time to do a long exposure there and you, you can really bring out the detail in the peaks behind the town and it's stunning. It's, it's, like, um, it's like nowhere else I've ever seen. You can walk across the frozen surface of the lake at Teen and look across at the neighboring town of Val Claret in the valley set against the mountains and it's, it's a view that I won't forget in a hurry. All 
right, so I'll be back next week with another new video and there will be lots more of this type of video because for me, this is kind of what it's all about, like getting out there and shooting uh, digital cameras, film cameras. There's gonna be a lot more of this kind of on location content, um, more of the tutorials and things that, we've, that I've shared with you already. So do stay tuned and I hope you enjoyed this week's video. Thank you for watching.